In this video, we're going to learn how to generate a random password using Python. So first we'll import the random module so we can use the choice function defined inside this module to randomly select the characters for our password. We'll also import the string module so we can use the constants defined inside this module to define which possible characters could be included in our password. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter the length of the password. So we'll have here length is equal to int and then input and enter length colon. So the input function is going to prompt the user with the text enter length. The function is going to return the length that the user enters as a string and then int is going to convert that string to an int which will store into length. So there are string constants defined inside the string module for groups of characters, for example, ASCII letters or digits. We could output those constants to see what they look like. We could have here print and then string ASCII letters and print string dot digits and we'll have print string dot punctuation for punctuation marks. We could save our program and try it out and we'll enter in any length and now we see the characters in these constant strings so we have the lowercase and uppercase letters we have the digits and we have the punctuation marks these are typically the sorts of characters that are allowed to be included in a password so what we'll do is make a large string made up of all these characters and we'll choose randomly from that large string to define our password. So over here, we'll concatenate all of these constant strings together. We'll have here cars is equal to string dot ASCII letters. Then we'll have cars plus equals to concatenate string dot digits. And then cars plus equals to concatenate string dot punctuation. So now cars is a large string containing all the possible characters for our password. Next, we'll actually create the password. So we'll start off with password being an empty string. Then we'll create a loop that's going to run length number of times for the length number of characters in the password. So we'll have for i in range length. The body of this for loop is going to run length number of times. For each iteration of this loop, we're going to randomly select a character from the string cars. We'll then concatenate that character to password. So by the end of this loop, password will be a random password of the length length. So we'll have here next character is equal to random dot choice cars. So here, we're using the choice function of the random module to randomly select one of the characters in the string cars and we'll assign that to next character. We'll then take that and concatenate it to the password. So we'll have password plus equals next character. We could then output the password. So down here we'll have print and your random password is colon and we'll output the random password. We can save our program and try it out. We'll enter an eight for the password length and we get here a password made up of eight random characters. So our code is working. Now we don't really need to save this random character into next character before concatenating it to password. We could just directly concatenate the character to password. So we could just have here password plus equals just to shorten our code by one line. We could save our program and try it again. We'll enter in 12 this time. And now we get a random password of length 12. We could shorten our code even more if we use a list comprehension so we could have here password is equal to and we'll have random 
dot choice cars for i in range length. So this list comprehension is going to give us a new list with length, number of elements, where each element in that list is a string made up of one character chosen at random from the car string. We could use the join string method to join these strings together to give us our password. So here we'll have empty string and then dot join and we'll pass it this list. And join is going to join together all those strings separated by nothing. That will give us our random password. We can save our program and try it out. We'll enter in 10 for the password length and we get a random password of length 10. So this is how we can generate a random password using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.